the event featured a keynote address that highlighted the importance of education and the lasting impact of Edu College on its students. Dr. Ruben Osan would deliver the keynote speech urged the students to be good representative of Edu College, an institution renowned for academic excellence. MD of ITV and Radio Engineer Elvis Obaseki, who represented the former governor of Edo State and the global president of Edo College Old Boy Association, Chief Lockheed Benedion, commended the graduates and students for their enviable academic record. Some of the things God will do in your life will come from those bonds. Please, I beseech you, my dear graduates, as you step out of this school, because you're already out, tie your hands, lock your ankles, make sure you don't break that bond. I say this because some of us are beneficiaries of the fact that we went to Edo College. In a remark, the chairman of the occasion, Sir Zixos Owe, commended the school for its excellence and the students for their dedication, while the executive principal of Edo College, Justice Aigbe, hailed the students and encouraged them to continue to strive for greatness. The audience were entertained by vibrant dance and drama presentation from the graduating students demonstrating their creativity. A major highlight was the recognition of Osereme Graham as the best graduating student celebrated for academic excellence. Some parents expressed satisfaction with the event and Edo College's academic excellence. The management of the college, Edo College, they are doing wonderful work. Up to now, the way they treat the students, the discipline, the moral standard, it has not changed. Today I feel so happy. I don't know, words cannot express my joy to so the numerous awards I just won. Well, we just want to thank God for everything. Edo College, you know, has been a, a school to reckon with. So what we are seeing today is not a, a thing of surprise to us. We were expecting a great turnout like this. Edo College is a reputable institution in Benin City. Solomon Aino, ITV News.